You truly are the most beautiful spider queen I've ever seen. It's beautiful. Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Eternal Frost mod which adds in a complete brand new dimension into your Minecraft game designed to act as the complete opposite to the nether. So all items in the overworld have been transformed into their frozen selves and there are a slew of new items, mobs, dungeons and bosses to get to as well. So let's see how you can craft this amazing portal and get to this amazing new world with snow pouring out the portal there. So to make this, you're going to need some ice obsidian for the portal frame. Now for this, you're gonna need four snow and a single obsidian in this pattern here to make one ice obsidian. So you're gonna need the same amount of obsidian as you're going to need for a normal portal. You can obviously make it in the other shape as well without the corners, but I've just made it like this because uh, well, I don't really know why, but I have. And then you're gonna need something special to light it, which is the flint and diamond rather than the traditional flint and steel. And for that, you're just gonna need to replace the traditional iron in a flint and steel recipe with a diamonds. You need one flint, one diamond to create this cool blue looking flint and steel. So what you're going to need to do is create a normal nether portal frame out of ice obsidian and then light it with the flint and diamond. You'll be able to create this amazing new dimension. Snow particles pour out of it so it's going to be damn chilly. So let's go straight into the portal. Yeah. Yeah, so welcome everyone to the eternal frost and it's looking simply amazing it's looking really really cool it's got all these amazing looking like caves and it's got just loads of different levels to it loads of cliffs loads of fire loads of ice and loads of really cool stuff so this is looking really really amazing it's just got so many new things and you've got a, a little preview of all the new mobs that we're going to take a look at in a bit and we've also got a host of new items which i'm going to get to now so the first bit is a couple of new ores we've got about four new ores in this land which you can't find in the overworld and they create all of these different items we've got new um swords new pickaxes new items of armor new sets of armor there's i think there's four complete sets of new armor which have different kind of armor properties we've got new blaze rods glowstone dust which is completely different then we've got some crystal we've got some new foods as well we've got frozen meat frozen pears frozen milk frozen strawberry pie now who's not gonna like that i mean come on and then we've got frozen cheese as well so there's this is just a, a small selection of the new items that you can get and i just don't, don't want to show you all of them because i don't want to spoil much of the mod but you've also got a whole host of new items and blocks that you can put down so over here we've got doors we've got bricks we've got stairs we've got loads of frozen different stuff and here i believe this is a like glowstone lamp you got glowstone red stone lamp over there you've got bookshelves this is the frozen obsidian which looks really really cool it's got the kind of enchantment particles going around it we've got ice tnt we've got enchanting tables that look completely different and the texture's a little bit broken there um, we'll just ignore that but it does look amazing everywhere else and then we've got this amazing looking crafting table so imagine crafting this out of the wood that you can find here and taking it back to your overworld house it's just going to look incredible so you've got stuff like chests as well we've got all these amazing torches that we've got around here too there uh, this is one of the kind of torches and there's another one over just over here so it's looking really cool. You can craft so many different things. All the normal vanilla stuff you can craft in its frozen forms. So here's a chest here. It works as normal. It's called Snowbark Chest and is all looking purple and cool. So now I'm going to move on to some of the mobs that you can find over here. And there are quite a lot. There's the host of frozen style vanilla mobs. So I'm going to go over some of them now. So we've got all of these. Let me just grab all of these ones. And then we'll start off with the scarab. Now the scarab is just like a tiny little beetle. I'm not sure if it attacks you or not, but it just takes a swift swipe and it will drop little frozen seeds which you can use for later then we've got the snow owl which is very cute look at this guy he's looking awesome so this is a, just flies around your world you can kill him for feathers which is cool and then we've also got the cold creeper which obviously will explode on contact he's looking well quite cold really <laughs> so he's just kind of like a paled out creeper and he will just you know explode as you would expect so and we've also got over here we've got the frostbite spider which is like a, a retextured spider he's looking really really awesome with those really nice blue eyes so let's get him out of here we, he drops the appropriate frozen eye and then we've also got furry ball which is like the pig of the frozen dimension the eternal frost dimension he's looking cool come here come here piggy come on there we go he's looking really cool nice and derpy as we like him and then uh yeah that's pretty much it about the frozen boar so we've also got the ice pig zombie so this is kind of like the eternal frost version of the nether zombie so he's looking just a bit more blue a bit more cold and he's just gonna aggro as normal in groups we've also got the snow glaze which is a version of the blaze so we're just gonna get rid of him get, get out of here sir get out of here before you blow up everything and he drops the frozen blaze rods which you saw earlier 
Then we've also got the ice cube, which is like a slime, and he's just looking really cold and just derpy as hell. So let's get him out of here because, oh, look all this goodies he drops. He drops that blue redstone dust, and he also drops some of those new gems earlier. So they're actually going to be worth killing for once. Then we get rid I'm just going to leave those there, and then we're going to grab some of the more new mobs. Let's get over to this chest over here. Drop these ones in and then grab the new ones. So we've got four more to look at, but these aren't all of the mobs. I'm going to show you even more of them later, the more awesome ones. We've got a horned goat, which is kind of like the frozen version of a sheep, which has a really cool looking model with little horns and is looking happy as hell. So let's just kill him <laughs> and then take his wool. So he dropped wool as normal. And then we've got the normal goat. So this goat has tinier horns. I think this is the version of the baby sheep. I'm not too sure. Let's see what he drops. He also drops wool. Then we've got the woolly mammoth, which is one of my favorite models in this whole mod. Yes, he's pretty big. And his face is incredible. Look at this guy. Oh, my oh my God. He's easily the favorite mob in this mod. Look at him. Oh, yes. I don't know what he drops, though. So let's just take him out. I think he's got more health than normal. Because this is a diamond sword, remember. And I'm trying to take him out. It's taking him a lot of hits. And he drops some nice new food. So we've got a uh, pelt here. Oh, no, that's like a uh, skin. And then we've got a lot of pork chops. So definitely a nice way to get food. And then we've got the Yeti, which is like the zombie of the frozen overworld. And he's holding a snowball. I don't think he froze the snowballs, but he's going to get pretty aggressive at you. And I think the skin is very nice. So what we're going to move on to next are a couple of the dungeons that are in this mod. So I'm going to switch over to it in a second, show you how to find the dungeons first off, and then show you what's inside the dungeon. So I'll be back in a second. And actually, before I go over to show you the dungeons, I need to show you one of the most important things in this mod, which is that bar that is above my hunger bar. And that is called the hypothermia bar. So as you can see, it's empty at the moment, and it's actually hurting me. I'm actually regaining health because I've got full hunger, but I am losing health every now and then, kind of like drowning. But that is because I am really, really cold. So now I need to move over to these blue flames to fill it back up. So don't go into the flames because they will hurt you. But if you stand near a flame like this, it will start to fill back up again and I won't get hurt anymore. So that is a really cool feature. Just adds an extra little thing to the dimension, a bit more of a challenge. And you can see it's full now. And another thing to note is that you don't want to swim in this dimension. Because look, if I go into this water here... I will start to get hurt, so definitely do not go into the water and make sure that you fill up or make sure you have at least one of these fires near your homes so that you don't get hypothermia and die. So now I will move on to the dungeons. Right then, so in this mod, dungeons work a little bit differently, and you've got to actually go through your overworld or in, through your eternal frost dimension and find one of these, which is called a dungeon block. Now, this will spawn one of two different dungeons. One of them I have spawned in over there. So what you do to spawn them is just hit them, and they will start to spawn this amazing looking structure. So if we go into this structure, this is one of the first ones. Oh, forgive the lag there. <laughs> I'm getting a few lag spikes because it's just spawning loads of stuff. And then you've got all of these mobs in here, which are looking crazy and you're going to have to make your way into here and try and get what's inside. So this is the second one, I believe. So what you've got to do in here is smash all of the spawners and it will spawn in a brand new block. So I've got rid of those and you can see it's got this with spades on it and you actually have to break this. And when you break that, you will have a bit of a, a, bit of a chest come up here with some goodies in it, like frozen pears and some nice water here. And then you've got this amazing new room open. So it's very, very clever in the way that it works. So make sure you just disable all the spawners, get rid of them, and you've got some spiders, some blazes, and that to get through. So if we walk through here or fly through here, you've got kind of like a library, and you're going to be faced with a boss very, very soon. So this is the second the second stage of it. You're going to have to get rid of the spawners again and dig this. So let's just go over here, get rid of all the spawners, and then we'll have to hit the final block. So if we just go over here and hit this, it will spawn in the new guy. So where are you? Where are you, guy? And it looks like it's missing a texture right now. So that's not good. That is not good at all. Where are you? Right then, so unfortunately the Cold Knight did actually lag my game, so I'm not going to be able to show him, but do go and try out this mod and find him for yourself because, uh, yeah, it is really awesome. It did just lag my game to crashing but anyway i'm going to show you the next one which is the queen spider as you can see on the top of my screen and you can actually spawn him and it will create this huge castle so this one is a lot bigger and a lot tougher and um yeah let's just go into the beginning which presents you with a ton of spiders a ton of spawners and some goodies as well so it's not all bad we've got some wild boars in here too but we've also got some chests and they've, they've got some decent stuff in some decent food to keep you on top of these spawners, there's about, what, there's like seven spawners in here. And there's actually many levels to this. So if we go out the outside, 
and then see all the windows. So if we punch through here, you can actually see that there's more stuff inside. There's like a mini library with loads more spawners. And then when you get to the top, you'll be presented with this spider web maze where you have to find the queen spider. So we're just going to bash through it. You can imagine in survival, this is incredibly hard because... You've just got loads of mobs trying to attack you. There's yetis that spawn in here as well. And you've got to try and get through the spiderweb maze to meet Her Holiness, the Queen Spider. She's like a, a spider with an amazing crown on her head. And you're going to have to kill her to get some of the amazing new items. Now, I'm not going to kill her right now because I'm going to show you the items in a second. But this is the Queen Spider's castle. And I really, really like it. And I'm, oh, God, I'm stuck in a web. No. So I really, really like this one. I think it's my favorite one out of the two. But yeah, it's looking really, really cool. And now we're going to get onto some of the items that spawn when you kill these bosses. So when you've actually killed one of the two bosses in this mod, you will actually get some very, very nice drops. And in the, I guess, the warmness of the overworld snow biome, we will figure out what they are. So we've got all of these amazing new items. We've got Thor's hammer. We've got Ice Ball Staff, we've got Hermes Boots, Poseidon Crown, Ring of Teleportation, Ares Armor, Snowblower, which is, yeah, I think you, you will agree it is from the Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, that little sprite there. And then you've got the Ice Rod, Odin Greaves, Satan Helm, Hades Armor, Loki Boots, Bezel Buff Leggings, which I think is to do with the devil. But anyway, you've got the Magical Harp as well. So let's just spawn some of these in here and we'll show you what you do. So the Thor Hammer will actually, on a right click, spawn some lightning in here, which looks amazing. So we'll just throw it to the ground and you'll be able to hit stuff. And then you've got the Ice Ball Staff, which fires out an Ice Ball and will actually explode. Oh my god. I didn't expect it to do that much. Damn. Woo! That is pretty powerful. And then you've got the Hermes Boots. So if you right click, you will have to equip them and you get speed 3, which is cool. So let's just take them off for now. Then we've also got the Poseidon Crown, which will give you uh, nothing at the minute, which is unfortunate. The Ring of Teleportation, which is just like an Ender Pearl for free, which is cool. And um, you actually get these in a, quite a high number when you destroy one of the bosses. And then we've also got the Ares Armor, which will give you strength while you wear it. We've also got the Snowblower, which actually just blows snowballs which is um it's cool i guess <laughs> and then you've got the ice rod which actually does um spawn in ice so if you right click the ground it will spawn in a nice block of ice you can trap enemies within it and stuff and then we have the odin greaves and when you wear them they don't do anything at the moment just yet so we're just going to get rid of all of these move on to the next set of items so we've got all of these so let's go for the satan helm will actually give you strength too while you wear it. The Hades armor will give you fire resistance too. And the Loki boots are pretty interesting. You wear them and you'll actually spawn fire when you walk. What the, what on earth? What on earth? So if you walk around, you will spawn fire, which isn't too pleasant in the forest biomes. So let's take these off and put out this fire. Put out, it, it's a, such a fire hazard, but pretty cool. Pretty cool, I must admit. And then you've got the Beezle Buff leggings, which I don't believe do anything right now. And finally, you've got the Magical Heart, which works just like a bow, and you can fire musical notes. So that is nice and cute, and I'm not sure how much damage they do. I'm sorry, Wolf. Oh, that, that's pretty powerful. So it one-shots Wolves, so it is decent enough. And I think... That is pretty much what this mod has to offer. It is a pretty amazing mod. It's got a massive new dimension that works really well, as well as the new mobs, the new dungeons, and everything. And I think you should go explore what I didn't show you. So yeah, definitely go and check it out. And if you did happen to enjoy this video and commentary, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And also the link for the mod, this amazing Eternal Frost mod, will be in the description below. And also a like and a favor would be greatly appreciated too, if you did enjoy the video, that is. So I think that's pretty much it from me and the Eternal Frost mod. So for me, it is good. Bye!